Hi, I'm Jessie. I'm the head of cyber research, and this is part of a series of interviews with security experts. I'm joined with Tamir, who was the uh, former director of the Mossad. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, okay, so the first question, going right into it, do supply chain attacks pose a global strategic threat? Well, the short answer, uh, yes, I really, uh, uh, I believe that uh, um, these kind of attacks are created, well, I think uh, at the very beginning, uh, it was created by uh, uh, states. And uh, it's uh, uh, quite an interesting uh, uh, way to attack by uh, taking care of, uh, let's say, peripheral uh, uh, keyboards, mouse, uh, uh, um, um, servers, whatever is supplied in the supply chain that can be, uh, let's say, uh, taken care of and, uh, and, uh, and uh, planting malicious uh, components or software. Uh, within those uh, 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 peripheral, uh, um, let's say, components of the network. But I believe that, uh, that in the last uh, six, seven years, uh, we, we start to see, um, uh, let's say, criminals, gangs that are using the same capabilities. Uh, it can be uh, done by a, a man in the middle or by supplying the, let's say, the components themselves. And do you think that hardware security issues are relevant only for agencies or state level? Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Do you think that hardware security issues are relevant only for agencies or state level? No, not at all. I believe that every, uh, let's say, every user of a network, what is a small office of lawyers somewhere, Mm -hmm. or uh, an industry and of course state uh, uh, let's say uh, agencies uh, uh, should use uh, uh, let's say capabilities in order to block it and to avoid those kinds of attacks so how did hardware attack tools change cyber warfare i think it's another it's a it's a different way of attacking and, uh, uh, and uh, if in the past uh, uh, we thought uh, only on very simple malwares that were used by uh, all kinds of attackers, of hackers, uh, as time is passing, uh, those uh, hackers, those uh, who want to uh, create a mess, uh, got, uh, uh, let's say, um, finding new opportunities uh, to create damage or to collect information uh, on the rivals and the opponents. So uh, uh, the moment uh, that uh, you, are, you manage to block something, you can be sure that someone, something new is going to appear in the market. So it's, a, it's an endless game at the end of the day. And certain countries prohibited the use of certain devices from identified vendors. What do you think about this approach? Well, that's a, that's a um, it's quite easy to do it if you got enough power. Uh, is it? Uh, 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 I believe that uh, if uh, uh, certain states are doing it, they got a good reason why to do it uh, because the very basic things is uh, that if you got a, a big manufacturer that uh, got uh, uh, some interest. Uh, to control your networks, uh, that's uh, uh, quite an easy way to uh, to um, create something within the uh, let's say the components that you are selling uh, to uh, another country in order to get superiority uh, and uh, getting whatever you need in, uh, when you you create one day a, a cyber attack. So it can be a, a silent enemy uh, that can be awakened up at a certain date 
uh, when uh, uh, that country, that state can have an interest to do something, to control something, to gain something. So it's quite obvious that uh, if uh, you are under such attacks or you believe that those countries can create a mess one day, so don't buy those goods. As simple uh, as that. So why do you think that we don't hear a lot about hardware-based attack incidents? Well, that actually you don't hear a lot about attacks. Okay, you know that there are lots of attacks. I believe that less than one percent of those attacks are published. And uh, when you are dealing with such kind of attacks, it's very um, actually you, you if you are not if you didn't take Sapio. Uh, 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 let's say solution, mm. so you cannot solve the problem. So, uh, and uh, uh, as far as I know, uh, SAPU is the only company that can give you an answer for such a problem. And uh, and uh, if you don't have um, as satisfactory uh, solution, so you keep quiet. And you try to cover the damage and not to tell others about that uh, problem because at the end of the day uh, we are living in a global village and uh, you don't you cannot isolate uh, your network from others networks and if you are a supplier or if you are a subcontractor and you are attacked by that those kind of attacks it's a gate to other networks as well. So to uh, cover up and not to tell, that's an easy way to deal with it without uh, creating a damage to your own company. And how have security agencies had to adapt to the advancements in technologies and availability of hardware attack tools? Please repeat your question because the line is pretty awful. Oh, um, can you hear me okay now? Yeah, fine, now. Okay, yes. so the question is, how have security agencies had to adapt to the advancements in technology and the availability of hardware attack tools? Look, I believe in prevention. And uh, that's the reason that uh, I'm once, I'm a co-founder of another company that deals uh, with prevention. Uh, uh, and uh, and uh, I'm a chairman of uh, SEPIO, as I believe in prevention as well. Mm -hmm. I talk about different uh, kind of solutions, and I think that uh, the best way to deal with uh, attacks is to try to prevent them, and to do whatever is needed in order to not allow those hackers to walk in uh, your network, as uh, from my experience, uh, we know that uh, hackers uh, are uh, like snipers. They are waiting with a lot of patience to the mistake they do. And uh, using uh, those kind of methods in order to prevent those hackers to, do, uh, uh, to achieve their goal, that's the best solution. And you kind of touched on it a bit, but could you go into more detail about why you find Sepio Systems solution relevant for today's challenges? I think that the very uh, uh, um, basic way of attacking is the supply chain today. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I said, as far as I know, uh, Sepio uh, got the best solution. And uh, I don't know uh, many other uh, companies that uh, can give you a such a solution or something that even close to those kind of solutions. So uh, it's uh, quite obvious. And then my final question is, what advice would you give to young professionals starting out in the cyber or intelligence industries? Think out of the box. That's the best way. Try to uh, uh, identify uh, your goal in a very precise way and, uh, and uh, plan it properly 
and prepare a, 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 a very good business plan because uh, uh, I saw many, many young companies, many, many startups with brilliant, uh, let's say, uh, solutions or plans, but without a proper business plan. And the name of the, ga the, the game these days is a proper business game, not only the best solution or the best team. Okay, thank you so much. And thank you for taking the time today and for giving your insights. It was very interesting and um, extremely useful. So thanks again for taking the time. And yeah, we really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. And good you luck. too. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.